here at Gundam Planet, we're all about making that dollar stretch. And we get a lot of questions here about, you know, what's a good, what's a good cheap Master Grade? Uh, I can't tell you what a good cheap Master Grade is yet, but I can tell you this is a pretty cheap Master Grade. This is clocking in at, you know, uh, right around $30. This is the GM Custom. It's been away for a while, and it just came back. We also got the GM Quell and the GM Type-C, the Space Type. And all these 1.0 GMs have uh, basically the same frame, but uh, I'm not going to paint it. And if I was going to build either of the other two, I would want to paint it. So I went with uh, the best the best straight build option, our minty friend right here. We have the, the GM Custom for Halo 83, and we're going to build this and find out what, what it's all about. First thing I noticed, this man, whose name I forget, uh, because the story of 0083. So we're going to put him over there, on the floor. And now, now into the kit itself. We have the, I'm guessing this is A runner, I couldn't find a letter. But uh, we got multiple colors, and this green is going to make up a majority of what you see here. Yellow for the vents, red for some thrusters and stuff, but mostly you're looking at this. This is a pretty big headpiece. This is, uh, is going to be a beefy thing when it's done, so that's cool. I'm glad to see the feet are more than one piece. Um, I don't know what this gap here, this was probably for some other GM, and they didn't need that part for this mold. Now this is the legs in, a, in their entirety and the shield, and some head parts, and like, man, this green. Really, really fresh. Uh, the, the flavor wintergreen. This, this is my wintergreen GM. These are some weird poly caps. I've never seen anything like this before, ever. I don't know where that goes. Um, I guess that's just showing, indicative of this kit's age. This gray is like, not great. Um, probably gonna want to top coat this, even if you don't paint it. This is the gun, more feet parts, some joints. The six hands, the, these are the backs of hands, there's six of them. I don't know why it needs that. We got a longer rifle. This is a very cool rifle. Uh, a lot of the 0083 GMs have something, uh, you know, at least kind of similar to this. And we're finishing up w with more hand parts. Now I'm confused. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to build this to get to the bottom of it, which I guess is the entire point of this endeavor. We have foil stickers, drive transfers, and tetron seals, it kind of looks like, so you can put the little numbers on the shoulders. You got the, the only foil stickers is camera lenses and gun scope, so that is very good. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, inner, inner frame. This is some old inner frame, and it, it has nice, like, mechanical detail on it, but you can tell it's not gonna do a whole lot of moving. Then we got beam saber, saber parts, and then the hands, which these look fun. Um, we have Two, you can't, you can barely call these splay fingers. They're like open palm, two fists, and then the parts for the the standard, you know, the three one thumb, uh, old master grade hands, and more poly caps. Um, so maybe they just use one standard for all the GMs and, and one for each specifically. I have no idea. And then lastly, you get a clear piece for the visor. So I like that. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to go under this clear piece. I didn't register anything because it's like you can see it's orange on all of the art, um, but I didn't see anything like that. So, um, it's old. I've built the stamen, and that was pretty cool. Uh, it didn't pose a whole lot, but it looked great, and, and really, that's what you expect out of a kit this, this age and this price. So, we're gonna get into this and uh, investigate for all you guys. I'm back with my minty fresh man right here, and this is old, and it's the oldest kit I've ever built. So, um... You know, there's, there, you're going to hear a lot of that in this review, but at, you know, a, a 3,000 yen kit, and it's master grade, um, you know, you, you get what you expect, and I want to show you what you get up close. We're going to bring the camera in. So here we are, right up close. Once again, we start with all the accessories on. Uh, there aren't too many, so I'm going to start with the ones that are often. We get the, I call this like the pea shooter. The GPO one uses this in the first episode of the series. It's just kind of the standard, it's like a, you know, standard machine gun. Pretty cool. Holds this with one hand. It just, you know, it looks good. The plastic isn't super great, but uh, you can see I top I top coated all this flat. Uh, I didn't mention that, but um, you can just see like it. It looks nice. It has nice detail. If you panel line, it'll probably be good. The seam lines aren't too egregious, and that goes for both guns. So it's, that's this. Um, this is the other rifle. This is the main one. This is like kind of cool military style. Um, you can. It, it's a little bit tricky, but you can get it up and across his body like this. And he can be like looking down the sight and holding it with this hand. So that's also very functional, even though in a lot of the promo images he's holding this with one hand, which I think looks weird for like a, an assault rifle style gun. But um, you know, that, as far as accessories go, functional and looks nice. 
Now, the one thing about both these guns, you might notice on the trigger, there is no little slot because there is no peg in these hands. So you just kind of got to count on these old master grade hands to hold it, which as you noticed while I was messing with it, it really wasn't a problem. Uh, it was just something I noticed. It's very interesting. I'm not sure when they started implementing those pegs on the hands, but it, it wasn't yet. So those are the guns. And then you get two beam sabers, uh, even though there's only a slot for one beam saber to go into his backpack, which just, you know, goes in, comes out, all fine. And then he has it, nice effect parts, uh, very, very straightforward. And then as far as additional hands, you can see I already have the poseable one on here. You also get fist hands, which I have one on over here, so you get fist for each side, poseable for each side, and then you get these two kind of awkwardly splayed hands. They're not really fully splayed, they're just kind of like hanging limply by his side. Um, so, you know, there's that. And then the shield, which you can see, I mean, you might be able to see, the handle isn't out right now. You can have him holding it, but it's not as sturdy as just pegging it into his arm. And this is a very tight connection. Um, you can see the peg actually comes out in his arm because I top coated it separately, so it's very tight. Just be aware of that. You might not want to top coat this little thing. But if you don't want it pegged into his arm, you can articulate this out and then put in this hand so he's holding it out in front of him. You'll see that in the spinny base shot. That's some classic 0083 animation style, uh, like when he and the GPO are flying. Um, and then before I get into the articulation of this, I want to talk about the manual, which I've never seen before. Um, usually it has like steps that you do two times um, before you start, but this just kind of, I'm not sure how the camera's gonna pick up focus on this. It has this very weird sidebar here where it has just like random arbitrary things it wants you to do first before you start this side. So I'm not sure if that's just more like the, the kind of like technical manual vibe that they're given with here, but I just found that very interesting and very different. I've never seen that before. This is from 98, so that probably has something to do with it. Now we're gonna go into the model. Um, articulation, not a whole lot. You get single peg into the shoulder, which gives you like very minimal forward and back. You can get it out to the side kind of weird, weird pseudo one and a half joint in the arm, really odd. Um, it's, it's a little bit loose because there is just a poly cap in here. So the, the top coat especially will help to tighten that up. Torso, you get a little bit back and forth. The front skirts and back skirts are articulated, but the mechanisms that hold them in place are kind of weird. So they occasionally will fall off. Legs, ooh boy, there is a single ball joint going into a single poly cap in each leg so you're not getting them wider than this and the same thing is said for the feet just one joint and like that's that's all you're getting so you can't get them in two wide stances that's why I said just find one you like and stick with it the knee joint goes like this it's kind of weird how like you can kind of rotate it but you're not really supposed to be able to do that it's just when it comes loose from the upper thigh so you know it does show its age but the silhouette that you get from it is is very nice. And you know, with a, with a kit this old, that's probably what you should just be hoping to get from it. So you know, while you don't get like the same great articulation that I'm sure you get from the high grade, which I haven't built, but it's one of the more recent ones and, and it looks stellar, what you do get is, you know, a faithful 1 100th representation of this that it does require a little bit of love, but once you top coat it, and if you get in a pose that you like, especially if you have other 0083 model kits that you can put it with, it's probably gonna look great. So if, you know, if, if you have your expectations set at the right level, you, you really can't go wrong with this. And I would, I'd recommend either, you know, checking this out, or if you like the Quell or the GM Space type better, you're going to get basically the same thing. So, you know, uh, pick your favorite GM and just go for it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, you should 
you like the video. And if you want to talk to me about this, if you built any of the other GMs, notice any differences, uh, any any GM version one impressions, I'd be happy to talk to you about them. Uh, you should also subscribe to see more videos from our channel, and you can check out these two specifically, or any of the ones on the sidebar. Thank you so much to Mars Sound for all the great music they hear over the spinning bass shots. We love that guy, we love that music. And other than that, we'll see you next time.